Hi everybody, my name is Josh and I live in Central Florida and it's about to be early springtime so it's time to plant the garden. Um, it's Tomorrow is the first day of March so I'm going to take you through my garden and show you how I'm going to prepare it and exactly what I'm going to be planting. It's going to be pretty heavily focused on peppers this season. Yeah, let me show you what I've got going on in my garden now and what I'm going to take out and what I'm going to do to it. So right now I've got a couple of collard plants, um, some kale, and a hugely overgrown massive tomato plant that I'm going to do some heavy, heavy pruning. It's a, an Everglades tomato. Um, I'm going to trim that back and see how it does uh, pretty aggressively. Um, so in this garden I'm going to cut out a couple of these um, collards. I'll probably keep one. Um, I'm going to cut out all the kale in that one and then trim back that tomato plant so that should be plenty of room for a couple of pepper plants. I got a couple of pepper seeds from my local nursery. Um, little um, transplants. So I'm going to be growing uh, some sweet um, banana peppers, some uh, cayenne peppers, the long thin variety, and some habaneros. Um, so those are the transplants I got. I got a couple of other packets of seeds I've never tried before. Some ancho peppers, some plebanos, um, canary bell peppers, and... Uh, these ones look super interesting. They're purple beauty bell peppers. Um, and then just some flowers I, that we really like, so we're going to put those in the garden. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get to planting, and I'll show you uh, what the garden looks like when it's done. So we got lots of tomatoes on this thing. Um, I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice some though. All right, we're gonna start trimming. So yeah, we did some very severe trimming. Pretty much, it's just the main stems now. Trimmed everything else off. Um, looks pretty sloppy and pretty ugly. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this thing's gonna live or not, but I'm gonna guess that it's going to. These plants are pretty indestructible. So, yep, this garden is pretty much cleared out. I think I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of compost, a little bit of mulch, and then put some pepper plants in. We're planting, planting these peppers now. <laughs> um, gonna put a couple of each in there and make sure they probably got like a foot or so of space in between each of them. Um, and that should be good. All 
Well, here it is. Um, we planted the garden after we cleared all this out. Um, I got some <coughs> cayenne peppers. Um, actually, it looks like they're already sprouting little peppers on them. Boop. Um, it's the beginning of March, uh, so it's getting ready to warm up here. So I thought it'd be a good idea to plant peppers. Um, never tried to grow all these different kinds of peppers, so I think uh, this will be fun. Got some habaneros and uh, some sweet banana peppers over here. And there is some cold weather coming. I saw two days in the 40s. Um, so we'll see how that affects these. But I think um, I will actually make a video on that and record the progress. I think I'll probably do like weekly uh, garden vlogs. Uh, I think that'll hold me accountable. <laughs> help me with my uh, garden journaling and uh, yeah hopefully it helps some of you guys out too um, just to see what's going on anybody who's growing stuff in Florida can compare it to what I got going on and hopefully you can uh, share some experiences and heck yeah that's what it's all about but anyways <laughs> uh, I have a website it's flgardening.com I just wrote an article about some of the easiest peppers to grow in Florida um, these are on the list plus a couple other ones if you want to check that out you can go to flgardening.com slash peppers.